Hello everyone, and welcome back to another weekly update of the Atomic Shop. We've got some new items on the store, despite it still being mostly Halloween themed, but the previous week's items, as you can see, uh, are still here. Sadly, the items are no longer available separately, but a new Starlet Sniper bundle has been added, even though it's not actually new, it's an old one, just rehashed, but uh, discounted at least. We got some greatest hits, the solid coral wallpaper set is returning, which is nice. As well as some interesting items, like for example the fish lamp, I actually have it bought and it's pretty nice. It does light up just like a normal lamp. And the fish does move inside it if it's lighted up, but otherwise not really, which is weird, but whatever. We got the Mothman Cam bundle with the additional smoke machine added to it. The items themselves are not bad, the, especially the bed I really like. And the totems are also kind of nice thematically, as well as some furniture coming with them. We've got the Enclave bundle still being available, as well as some special offers, like the Shadow Prime Power Armor skin returning, the Astro Turf, which is one of the most popular skins available for the you know floor. It looks like just basically the uh, ground near uh, the White Springs bunker, as well as the Plague Rider Armor returning on a bit of a discount, and the Talking Skull icon being up for free. And of course the new items, which is the Robber Halloween bundle, which pretty much includes everything on the bottom row. As you will see, it includes the robber costume, the robber under armor, which is basically just the armor itself, uh, just uh, uses an under armor, the jail wall kit, the plasma bot set, and the Halloween cutout set, which is basically this thing over here and this thing, and the bat lights, which I assume are these. I'm actually still sparing my items, but I'm gonna be purchasing the jail set, which is available separately for 500 atoms. I'll be showcasing them in a second. But we still have another stuff here, which is the three, three Estates Junkyard Power Armor, which is the previous Junkyard's Power Armor's rehashed or sort of reskin version. Looks pretty nice, I do like this skin combo, but again, it's just a reskin, so, you know, I don't think it's worth uh, 100 and, or 1,200 atoms, at least not for me. And yes, that's pretty much it, so let's get right into how the jail walls look like in-game, shall we? Alright, so, once you are in the build menu, I'm gonna say right away that there is no doors coming with this set in particular, but the, I think it's called cage door, I don't remember the plan's name, uh, this is what it looks like, is what's gonna be fitting the most for this sort of walls, because once you go to the actual wall section on the second row, so it's actually quite high up, you're gonna see this uh, wall doorway variants, it's gonna even have a door and a wall variant, there is no other thing, not even a halfway variant, so you can just make like a, you know, caged wall up until to like half height and then the rest of them being empty. So yeah, it's kind of like cluster, at least as far as, you know, usual wall types goes. It's not like the uh, contemporary walling, which has like a bunch of different styling and whatnot. It's only as these two. So yeah, and before US, by the way, you of course cannot put a um, wallpaper on the other side of it. This doesn't look like it, sadly. Or doesn't work like it, rather. Um, but you can, of course, still put stuff like roofs on it. So at least there is that, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like cluster, but at least it works, I guess. So yeah, there is that. Alright, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye, and have a good one.